Hello, hello? Ha! We are here at Happy Harbor Comics. See, this is what happens when superpowers interfere with cables and whatnot. Because that's what's been happening all morning long. And uh, we're in the house with Ed the Sock and Jay. And we're talking about... Tomorrow is Free Comic Day. This is such a great... This, I mean, honestly, we're going to we'll talk later on with Jay about sort of why you should rediscover comics. And uh, you obviously have been a huge comic book fan your entire life. Uh, 30 years and counting. <laughs> really? Yep. And the sock, you as well? Well, he's, he's 30 years and counting, and he's hoping soon that uh, he'll become a man, if you know what I mean. I, I, yeah. I hear you. I, I, I get what you're putting yes. down. And I like, uh, I like comics as well, because, uh, you know, you can actually learn a lot more vocabulary from comic books than you can from newspapers. Like Kabelam and Shazam? Well, no, not just Shazam, which isn't a real word. <laughs> it's made up and it's an acronym, quite frankly. Right. Um, but yeah, I learned a lot of scientific concepts, like um, uh, quantum mechanics I learned from comics. Yes. I learned about tesseracts. You know what a tesseract is? I don't know what a tesseract is. It it's sounds something dirty. that is bigger on the inside than it looks like on the outside. Fabulous. Yeah, okay. like Doctor Who's little, little police box uh, t spaceship. Yes, yes. It's huge on the inside, looks not so big on the outside. It's a tesseract. Learn that science from a comic book. So if you could be a superhero at the sock, what superhero would you be? What do you mean? I am a superhero. All right. Well, I live forgive life. me. All right, then. What superpowers do you have at the sock? Um, well, I'm, I'm able to speak my mind and not get in trouble. And this day and age, <laughs> that is a superpower. True enough. I have to ask, though, you are a single sock. Did you lose the other in the dryer? Oh, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> at least not this early. Oh, hey. oh yeah. yeah there. Red yeah, is my right partner. here. Yeah, someone drew a picture of us. Yeah, one, one of the, the artists. artists did a, what's called a tribute piece. And um, it's a little early to explain what the thunder in question is. But isn't that yeah. great? That is awesome. And I guess this is another thing that's happening tomorrow at all three of the Happy Harbor comics, is that people can come down, meet you two cats, and then as well get your, your picture uh, forever created in a comic strip if you want. For sure. You can get your favorite character. You can get yourself as your favorite character. There's, uh, we got some very, very talented people that are, uh, are going to be with us tomorrow, and we'll be meeting some of them later. Sweet. You okay. know, Happy Harbor was named Canada's best comic book store last year, so that's why we're here instead of uh, at our hometown of Toronto. We wanted to go where, where the real action is. <laughs> and, yeah, woo, woo, Edmonton. Um, Ed, yeah. how old are you? A gentleman never tells. You what? A gentleman never tells. <laughs> um, Red, mm -hmm. how old is Ed the Sock? He's over 21. <laughs> that's, that's all you need to know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's all that's relevant. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Legal in Canada and the United yes. States. That's right. Yes. So you obviously love comic books. What is, your fa like, what is your favorite comic book character? Like if you could be any lady and actually just become her and, you know, fly out of that window right now, who would you be? Power Girl. For sure, hands down. Yeah. Absolutely. What has she got going over Wonder Woman? Um, she's a lot nastier. Hey, what did you just say? Did you just say no, sex? I, no, I said sass. Oh, sass. Yeah, sass. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's on your mind? Sorry. Wonder, Wonder, Ed, Wonder Woman what can be say? sassy, but it's a different kind of sass. It's a, it's a Linda Carter sass. Well, it's that prep school sass. As right. opposed to Power Girl, she's, you know, kind of down with the guys kind of sass. The comic book fans will understand she's Justice Society instead of Justice League, and that matters. Go oh, gotcha. So what is the difference then? Well, um, how much time do we have? Yeah. Oh, well, 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 no, just, Justice League is all the big people. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Martian Look Man. at yeah, that. But then you've got your Justice, Justice Society. Society. Which right. is a little bit more cultured it's... and refined and old school. So. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of the under, like the they, un they are the predecessors to the Justice League. Gotcha. So they are the ones who paved the way for the, the new boys to come in and have Wow, it's just getting nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. Feel free to that. unleash your inner nerd on Free Comic Book Day. That's what yeah. it's all about. Yeah. And also, get into comics. I, we're going to talk later with Jay, but I mean, do you think that kids dig comics now as much as they, like, I love the comics. Yeah, it's, it's the, the explosion of the, the Japanese, the manga, the anime. Comics is still totally relevant for kids. They get on it before the adults do. Sweet. All right. So, you got to check it out. It is... Free comic book day happening here at Happy Harbor Comics. They've got three locations in the city. Best bet is to go to www.happyharborcomics.com. Find one that fits your location as well as your time. But before we go to break, of course, at the sock. Oh, you want a, a little bit of wisdom? I want a dollop I, of wisdom. I prepared friend. this. Okay. Tonight at 11.35 on City TV Edmonton, watch Ed and Red's Night Party. 
That is deep. Yeah. That is deep. <laughs> Promo is deep. The promo is deep. Yes. It is deep. Yes. All right. Thank you. Ed the Sock leaving us with yet another dollop of wisdom. Ponder the fact that it's on tonight. 11.30, you said, 11 my friend. on City TV. All right. There it goes. It's amazing. That cigar, cigar never, ever, ever goes down. Ed, thank you for being on BT. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Can I go to bed now? You can. You're done. Okay. Ed, thank you so much. You look beautiful. Jay, more with you later. Closed captioning of this city TV. Off to Bridget, who has uh, one more report for us today. Here she is. Hey, thank you very much, guys. So we are here at Happy Harbor Comics talking about free comic book day tomorrow. It is a worldwide event and certainly a huge event here in Edmonton at Happy Harbor Comics. All three locations. This is Jay. This is your awesome store. It's thank fantastic. You. It is. Well, I thank you very much. And yes, it is. Uh, we actually, <laughs> we, go, we go very, very hard to create all three of our stores that are very family friendly. So, I mean, when you come in, like if, if parents come in and grandparents come in, they can look around and go, wow, I'm comfortable here. Yeah. Like, this is a cool place. And wow, look, you know, I've got nostalgia. I've got some new stuff. We've got something for everyone, and that's actually the beauty of comics as a medium as a whole. There is actually something for everyone, and people don't always believe that. They think, oh, they're for kids yeah. or whatever. Well, no, 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 no. hold the phone, because that's what I wanted to engage in a conversation. We have conversations here on Breakfast Sellers, and I wanted to engage. You said something earlier, which I thought was very interesting, that it's not really, or at least at this store, or maybe it's lessening, but are there kids buying comics these days? There are kids buying comics, and thankfully there's a lot of companies that have come around to the point where, <clears throat> excuse me, well, they're making more comics accessible to younger children and like even as as young as three and four years of age right. some of those books will actually be free comics tomorrow that we'll be giving away so a couple books like the tiny titans and owly uh, and some other ones, Kid Houdini and stuff like that. They're just really, really, and they're done well. So they look slick. They're lots of fun. They're accessible to young kids. So they can get in there and say, you know what? This is a lot of fun, and it's very inspiring, and it's just a great way to pass the time. Parents can read them to their kids along with their kids. They can encourage their kids to draw, to write their own fantasy adventures, to become superheroes themselves. Yeah. In, a, in a day and age where more kids are hanging out with the, uh, the Internet, it seems like the comic book is such a great thing to bring back into the home because it's it first of all I mean talk about fantasy talk about imagination talk about superheroes yeah absolutely I mean there's there is nothing you cannot do well, with a comic book yeah. I mean it's fantastic no matter what story you want to tell no matter how many explosions you want to put in and no matter how high you want to fly no matter how fast you want to run you know you don't need a big budget movie uh, <coughs> deal or anything yeah, like exactly. that you can sit down draw it out with a comic write out your story get it all on paper live out your fantasies you know have a great time so tomorrow yes it is free comic book day and what a great day to rediscover if you're not a comic book fan or or you were what a great day to discover or rediscover comic books uh, you've got illustrators and artists at all three of look you've got 14 in total 14 in total that'll be out throughout the uh, the three locations on our south side store where we sell a lot of the uh, the japanese art style books uh -huh. um we actually have a large contingent of japanese artists who'll be there and anyone can come down to any of the three locations and ask the artist to do a sketch of whatever character they want as long as you make a donation to the edmonton food bank and the artist will sit there we've got a couple artists with us um two of our artists who will be downtown here daniel schneider and uh and vanessa beckman who will be here drawing all day. They're actually just, they're stepping up for the cause and they're here for the fans to draw whatever you want. And it actually is something that's very, very popular with us. And we get a lot of people that come out, they bring their donation to the food bank, they get a one of a kind custom piece of artwork, whatever they like. Wait, it's yeah. not to be missed. It's Happy Harbor Comics. It's free comic book day. And uh, Jay, thank you so much. You, you, you look stunning in your half you're sort of super, you're, you're, um, My pseudo super girl. you're pseudo super <laughs> junior size suit. Junior size suit, yeah. yes. So there's many more in the way. Well, when you bring superheroes to the city like Ed and Leanna, you've got to, you got to step up to the occasion. You do, you've so. got to wear the, the outfit, so man. So tomorrow, even though I'll be ringing through sales and helping people out and, and introducing them, I will be in character. I will be in form and, uh, and everyone can come and just have a great time, take some pictures and just so have fun. So if you were a superhero, what superhero would you be? Um, honestly, uh, I would probably be Green Lantern. Green Lantern, cool, awesome. Sail through the cosmos with your power ring and uh, you know, solve intergalactic crime and just be able to go anywhere with just the thought and, uh, and a very, very powerful ring. Ooh, so, yeah. I want to be Green Lantern too then. It's very cool. Good choice. All right, Jay, good choice to come here tomorrow. Free comic book day. Thank you so much, sir. Thank I mean, you. Green Lantern, superhero. <laughs>